Now, if this is not heartbreaking, I don't know what it is. Well, now on to something a little bit related because it's still about family and a little bit different because it's about a clash of the titans. Now, marriage ought to be an interesting institution, but surprisingly, it is laden with landmines. It is known that every married man has two important women in his life contesting for his attention, his mother and his wife. And by divine design, they are both his to attend to. Also, both are strategic and could be complementary. Now, he must stand by his mother and his wife in the journey of life. And to this end, there is every tendency for rivalry. Now, who then owns the man between his mother and his wife? Anslem Nuhu, six answers. Hey, Anslem, it's over to you. Thank you, Vivian, for having me. Now, two most important women in the life of a married man are his mother and his wife. But there appears to be a battle of supremacy between these two women as to who should have a grip of the man's attention more. Who then owns the man between his mother and his wife? Assuming you're married. <laughs> Yeah, maybe because I'm still single, so I have very much um, allegiance to my mom right now, so I would say my mom still. Only your mother can take all what will affect you. And a woman, your wife can uh, disappear and leave you. She can divorce you even. In some countries, they divorce. Women divorce their husbands. Well, I think for me, my mother-in-law don't have access to my husband. My husband is my husband, owns my husband. So anything I have to do with my husband is up to me. And he has nothing to do with my mother-in-law. While I would like to emphatically state that uh, the woman, the wife, owns the husband, but I think many times she's just deceiving herself to so claim. It's, it's a sad reality. But generally, I think she owns the husband, but it's, it's, it's a problem, problematic one. His wife. Because getting married to his wife, his mother, is not his responsibility again. So he, he and his wife are in the same house. So it's his wife who control him. I think the mom, the mother. Okay. Because um, the mom is the only person that gave birth to the child. Saw him throughout the university. Sorry, from the nursery, primary, secondary university. Gave him life. So I think... In a relationship or in a marriage, the mom, the mom owns the guy. What about religious point of views? The wife is just like a partner, and uh, when the going goes well, that is the matrimonial home goes well, then they can have a test of time. Uh, when it proves abortive, he is at liberty to divorce her and to pick another one in accordance with religious doctrine, particularly in the Islamic context. The Bible says that when your parents give birth to you, when you reach a point to get married, uh, there is a categorical statement the Bible makes that the man will leave his father, his mother, even including his relation, and stick to his own wife. That shows a sense of ownership from the woman. What are the claims of mothers? It's the mother that gave birth to him, and she suffered um, for nine months and give back to him. Um, yeah, it's quite tricky because a man might feel indebted to his mother because the mom take, took care of him while he was a baby until he, he became an adult. But wives say, I don't have conflict in my marriage because my husband knows what he should do for me and based on our understanding, he knows what he should do for his mother. Okay, like I'll tell our mothers out there, you carried your son nine months, you gave him breast, your breast to suck and all of that. Yes, he's now sucking the wife's breast till death do him part. Okay. He can't afford the mother's breast again. Now it's the wife's breast, the wife comfort. Now it is very possible for mothers and daughters-in-law to have some relationship. I suggest tolerance, understanding, and not interference, particularly on the part of the mothers. Ansem Nuhu, reporting for Perspectives in Yola.